2020. Am I right? Do I need to say more? Uh, it's not been the best of years, but saying that, it's not been the worst of years as well. I feel that this whole situation has kind of helped us to realise that we need to look after the planet more and we should, you know, not be glued to our phones as much anymore. I don't know. I don't think we're going to learn anything from this. I feel that like it would be a good time to learn something from it. But I feel like as soon as everything goes back to normal, whatever normal was, I think it's just all going to go back out of the window. But saying that, you know, I decided today I would talk about my goals. That I said at the beginning of the year when I was so optimistic about this whole 2020 situation. I'm very disappointed that the Fapa dresses don't come back. But it has been the first year in the 20s and this is not a good sign. It's not a good sign I was having a pandemic in the first year of our 20s. So, it's, it's, uh, hmm, yeah. But I decided I would re do a recap, basically, of what my goals were at the beginning of the year, whether I've matched those goals, whether I'm still on track with those goals, or if I've had to throw them completely out of the window. Let's find out. So the first one on my list is... So the first thing on my list says teaching China. If this year had gone to plan, I would be in China now, right now, um, ready to start my academic year um, in China. And uh, no, that's that's not happening. I'm definitely not in China. I'm at home. Yes, I'm in a different location. Hello, I've got a new chair. I have a desk. <laughs> a little workstation. I don't know if you're gonna like this sort of layout. I'm trying something. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not in China. I am still in, at home in England. And uh, yeah, in regards to my TEFL, I haven't actually done anything with that. So I started it a little while back and then when I tried to go back on it this year, I found out that my time had run out on it. So I had to repurchase a TEFL course. Granted, I do it, did it for a Groupon, so it didn't actually cost that much. Uh, and I've recently, recently, reactivated it. So hopefully this week, the week of when you'll be seeing this video, uh, I will be doing my TEFL because I really want to. I really want to have disqualification. And unfortunately, I think one of the reasons why I haven't been doing it, even though I've had all this time off to be able to do it, is purely fear. Um, I think I've been very fearful uh, of... The fact that by doing this, I'm opening up doors to myself. I know that's weird. I shouldn't be afraid of that. I should be, you know, grabbing it and going, yes, I can do more stuff. But instead, I'm just kind of going, oh, it's taking me out of my comfort zone. I don't, I don't like that. I really don't like that. And so I haven't been doing it. Plus, I think I've also been kind of shooting myself in the fuss about it. Like, I have learned that I can't really do much with a TEFL qualification except teach abroad. So TEFL is uh, to teach English as a foreign language. And you are, it's going to give me experience as a teacher. I will be teaching, I will be doing plans for, for like lesson plans and stuff. So in that section, I'm learning a lot of new skill sets to do with teaching. However, the qualification itself is kind of like not valid. It's not going to be helpful in any area, at least I don't think it is. And that's kind of another thing of why it's making me a bit hesitant is I will be spending all this time to learn something that ultimately is not going to benefit me when I come home. So it's going to benefit me to be able to go off and travel. I'll be able to go and teach English as a, foreign, uh, as a second language in another country, um, which is great. So it means I can travel, I can stay in another country, I can live in other countries and experience these other countries, and that's great. However, is it going to be useful when I'm back home? I don't know. Uh, so I think that's what's been making me very hesitant about doing it as well. But I need to get a wriggle on because I've paid for it and I want to do it. And I want to have that option to be able to go off and travel, so definitely need to get a wriggle on and do that. But it's not something I have been actively doing as of yet this year. Even, I've just been pushing it off. Uh, but yeah, in regards to being in China, not there. I'm at home in England. Yay. The next thing on my list was to reduce my meat intake. This I have been doing. So luckily for me, I have a friend uh, that I met at the beginning of this year, before everything hit the, hit the fan. Um, so I met a friend and he has been, um, he has basically had a very predominantly vegetarian diet 
and it's kind of it's kind of spurred me on to do that a bit more as well so at the beginning of the year it's more of a I may be thinking about doing this now I am actually doing that so I have reduced my meat intake I, I said in the video at the beginning of the year I wanted to be a reducitarian reducitarian isn't a thing a flexitarian that's a thing um no but so yeah I have actually been reducing my meat intake I've been um having like alternatives instead so I've been having like uh, vegetarian burgers, vegetarian sausages, because meat is one of those things where I, it's difficult to truly get away from it. So if I can have like an alternative that's not meat based, it's doing me as wonders really. Cutting down on meat and having like meat um, alternatives, it's really helped me an awful lot. It's making me feel so much better in my body because I learned that by eating a lot of meat, it was making me feel a bit uncomfortable and unwell in my body. But having more uh, vegetarian uh, like veggies and having more vegetarian options and having more like um the the other alternatives to meat uh, i've been doing that an awful lot and it's just been making me feel so much better in my body which is good because i want to do it for health benefits as well and uh so yeah i've been reducing my meat intake i've been ha i've had the beyond burger in witherspoons which is freaking lovely i i have it with cheese i've been told by my friend that if you have it with no sauce it's actually quite dry but i have it with cheese so mine's not been too bad that's wonderful it's all plant-based it's it's a plant-based meat it's vegetarian but it means you can still have a burger with your friends and it doesn't taste bad at all i've been having quan sausages because i've been having the breakfasts and the breakfast still isn't good but i have had quan sausages now i've tried three different vegetarian sausages so i've tried the quan one which tastes quite nice i've tried the linda i think it's linda mccarthy Linda McCarthy, I think she has like a meat uh, meat free range uh, and her sausages taste alright and then I also had this the really gross one when I was at, in the late district so they gave me like a it was just like processed vegetables in a case and it was just oh it was rank it was horrible uh, so that was my negative experience with that but Linda Mac I think I think it's Linda McCarthy but she does these like mozzarella burgers so again it's uh, vegetarian burgers which have cheese in them and they're freaking phenomenal they're wonderful I love them I've also got some meatballs that I haven't tried yet um, so we'll see but I've also been having things like vegetarian lasagnas I've been having vegetarian cottage pies and stuff so I'm still eating the same stuff just vegetarian and it tastes wonderful it tastes really lovely actually um, what other vegetarian things I recently tried vegetarian I've recently tried vegetarian bacon that was interesting. Didn't taste too bad. Didn't taste too bad at all. So I want too bad. So yeah, I've been reducing my uh, my meat intake. I've been doing that an awful lot more. I even tried the Subway uh, like meatless meatball sub. That was really nice as well. Really, I quite enjoyed that. It's uh, they're not bad. Lovely. I'm liking it. And I've been eating more veggies as well because I'm just I like it. It's making my body feel so much better. Uh, so yeah, I've been doing that. Uh, in regards to recycling, I'm recycling the same as I was before, to the best of my ability. I'm trying to recycle as much as I can, um, but as I don't live on my own, I live with other people, I'm recycling the best I can in within this household and what is allowed to be recycled. Because uh, certain councils were you to recycle only certain things. And until like the tips are open again, I don't know what other things I can get rid of, because like, I've got electricals I need to get rid of, and I don't know how to do it. And I want to try and do like recycling things, but whenever I've looked online, the only recycling like areas to take electricals are mostly like American websites, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking into that. And in regards to donating, uh, I had as soon as uh, charity shops reopened, I did donate a big box of books and some other bits and pieces as well that I didn't want anymore, anymore as well. So yeah, I'm kind of doing the same. Uh, I'd like to do better, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. The next thing on my list was save money. No, I haven't done that. I have uh, actually spent more, more money than I should. So, just to be clear, I'm not a shopaholic, I'm a spendaholic. I tend to spend my money on food, so I don't tend to really spend it on materialistic things. I tend to spend it on things that will disappear, like water, just literally disappears. Um, and I've just, you'd think that I'd be saving more since lockdown, but I haven't. I have been spending, I've been saving money on petrol. I've not really been using money for petrol, but I have been buying books and food and that's mostly where my money's been going is on those things I've also had two trips recently like I went to the Lake District and I went to Scotland recently as well so the money's gone on that a bit as well um, but in regards to saving no shockingly enough I have <laughs> not been doing that 
and I'm kicking myself about that. Um, so yeah, saving, not done, not done. Next thing was travel. <laughs> travel to Norway and to Germany to see my friend. Yeah, that's not happened, obviously, since lockdown happened. Uh, I have not travelled anywhere except for some places throughout the UK. Um, so like I just said, I went to the Lake District for a few nights and I went to Scotland for a few nights and that's the most travelling I have done. Uh, I have not travelled to Norway and I have not travelled to Germany and I'm bummed out because I was meant to go to Italy at the uh, kind of like in, um, I think it was March I was meant to go and then this whole lockdown thing happened. I think it was like March or April I was meant to go and obviously, and I've kind of, I've lost money on that actually. Um, they wouldn't give me money, they were doing like a voucher system thing, so I've got like a voucher to somehow use, um, but I don't have my actual money back from that, which I'm annoyed at. And I know it's not their fault, it's not my fault either, and I should have been able to have my money back, but enough said about that. So no, travel wise, I've not done any travelling, aside from Scotland and the Lake District for a few days. So uh, that was summer at least, it was a change of scene. Um, but yeah, in regards to going abroad, I haven't done that and I'm very hesitant about doing so. Um, so even when they start like reopening it and things, I was very like, Ooh, do I want to do or not? Plus, when you go to these places, you've got to quarantine quarantine for like two weeks. It's like, well, that's your whole holiday then, just in quarantine, you know? It's ridiculous. Well, it's not, but it is at the same time. It's like, I wouldn't risk it. It's not worth it, in my opinion. So, no, I haven't done that. Read more! No, I've not been reading more. I set myself the goal of reading 25 books this year and I am not doing very well. I just haven't been motivated to read at all. I've sat, <laughs> I'm on, I've got like eight books on the go at the moment um, and I have read a little bit. I've been mostly reading like a few poem books of late but I've not actually felt, I've just not been um, in the mood to just sit and read. Uh, I hope to change that, I hope to still be able to hit my goal of 25 books, I was hoping to hit more, I thought that I would uh, be reading a bit more, um, but no, I just haven't been, I've been motivated to read, but then again saying that, when it comes to October, I'm definitely going to be reading a book, because I have set myself the goal of reading, um, I need to read a book for Halloween, or the month of Halloween, and I've actually I've got uh, three book options, which I'd like you guys to choose for me, so I've got three book options, um, of what I won't mind reading around Halloween. So these books, book options are Dracula, which is like one of the original daddy monster books. Uh, so I've got that to read, uh, maybe. I've got Frankenstein that I'd like to read. Because um, again, it's one of the big daddy books to do with the monsters and stuff. Uh, and I think it fits into like the Victorian theme as well, I think. I think there's like a Victorian month. I'm not too sure, I may have to look into that. Uh, I'm not a booktuber, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's uh, Frankenstein. And then the third option is Doctor Sleep, which is the sequel to The Shining. Now, the only reason why that is an option is because last year I read The Shining for Halloween. And uh, yeah, I, I then invested in Doctor Sleep and I was like, I, I really need to read that because I've read the first one. Uh, so yeah, these are my three options. is Dracula, Frankenstein and Doctor Sleep. They are my three options i would like you to let me know in the comments down below which book you think i should read for for halloween uh we'll do like a poll sort of thing see if uh see which one's the most popular and i will read that book so it's me choosing <laughs> the next option was uh the next goal sorry it was uh keep improving so like my health both mental and physical uh i have been doing that i've been trying to do better in that area Mentally I've been feeling alright actually, um, I've been kind of feeling, I've been following like a spiritual thing so I've been really getting into, since coming back from Scotland I've really been getting into the spirituality of like the moon and the connection to the moon and the female body and all that sort of thing. And I've been doing meditations and I've just been trying to be more optimistic. I've even got this 21 day um, improvement app thing which is where it does affirmations, it does gratitude. Um, so I've been trying to do that, I've been trying to be more optimistic about life, so I've been feeling a bit better mentally in those areas. Um, physically, I've not really done much. I've gone for more walks. So I've actually started going for more walks and I feel better because of that. I haven't been walking for a while though, so I may have to get back into doing that again. Uh, I was starting to do cycling, but then I broke the pedal, the pedal like dropped off. Uh, so I haven't been doing that. Um, I tried to begin with. 
and walking in regards to I went to Haworth actually a little while back and it made me really scared afterwards because on the day I went to Haworth I walked on the moors and I went up to um I went up to Top Wivens and it was a wonderful day, it was a really hot day but I hadn't eaten anything and the only thing I had on me was a bottle of water which was getting warmer and warmer with every sip I was taking um, and I was drinking that and uh, obviously I was just walking around and it was nice, it was a nice long walk, I was tired by the end of it which is good, I wanted to do that and it felt really good. Um, but yeah, the day after that I was feeling really unwell and since then I've kind of like not walked on the Mars again because I've been like really scared. I was like, oh, did I catch something? I don't know. I just felt really unwell. Uh, I think I had a bit of a dicky tummy because of that, but that's there. I've been walking an awful lot around near me, so that's something at least and it's, it's nice. I actually, I need to do it more because when I actually go and do it, I actually enjoy it and my body likes it and it's getting stronger when I've been... Um, <clears throat> when I've been walking more so I probably need to get a wriggle on and do that. Next thing was write a book. No, I haven't been writing my book. However, I do have a new book idea. So um, at the beginning of this year when I when I said it in my goals video at the beginning I said that I had two book stories on the, on the go and um, one of them was a period murder mystery and I still want to do that However, I've kind of put that on the back burner again. Um, and I've got a new story, which is a combination between modern and historical. So there is going to be historical elements in it. Because my plan is, I want to be an author. still do want to be an author. Um, and I definitely want to... The kind of areas that I want to work on when I want to be an author is I want to be a history-based author. Because history is my jam. I like history. Um, so I want to be like a historical uh, author. But not factual, more just stories. I mean, I might do a factual book at some point, but at the moment, just stories. And I was reading a book by another YouTuber, which I really love. And while I was reading her debut novel, I was like, oh, this is actually a really interesting story. You know, it's different and it's unique and it's its own thing. And it's, it's a really nice story. And then it registered, then it hit me, sorry, sorry that um, I need to do something that's going to stand out, going to be a bit different rather than my murder mystery because as much as I really like the idea of my murder mystery and I still plan to do it it's been done before the period's been done before murder mysteries from those periods have been done before it's all been done before so I was like I need to do something that's different so I've got a new idea and I've been writing up loads of ideas for the chapters and I've been breaking it down and I've been focusing on okay um so basically it's going to be a bit of like a time travel sort of thing sort of story and I've been focusing on what po sort of periods I want my character to go to um so I've got a lot of work that I need to do because I was thinking up to about maybe five different periods that I could go to um, and I've kind of changed it a bit of kind of how I want it to go but that's my latest idea that's my um, something I need to do and I have started it I just need to keep on adding my notes to it um, so I don't know if you can see it but I've got a piece of paper next to me which is actually some of my notes for that story um, but yeah so we'll see <laughs> see how I get on with that I just need to actually do more typing instead of always writing the story ideas in my phone. The other thing was being more ethical in my shopping. So like shop, shopping charity shops and make sure you have things that are, are cruelty, animal cruelty free and um, more acceptable for the environment and stuff. So like disposable stuff. Now I haven't actually been shopping shopping. Um, and I have actually seen something on Instagram recently. I've seen a, per, um, a site where you can do a book swap, which I definitely want to check out at some point, because uh, one of my weaknesses is, is books. Um, so yeah, because I want to really reduce fast fashion. I'm trying to like not, I mean, I don't do I don't do fast fashion anyway. I kind of just buy things that are of interest and then I keep them till, till they die. Well, that's what I do. I really want to see if there's a place where I can donate um, clothes that are actually dead. Um, so I know there should be a place where you can donate clothes that are, that are dead but they'll reuse the materials so anything that's got a stain on it or is broken they won't bother with but they might use the leftover materials that are fine because otherwise I just feel it's a waste because I'm just going to go to landfill either way and any clothes I don't want obviously I don't it so um, so yeah it's a bit of a weird one. Uh, I am going to be looking into menstrual stuff so I really want to look into uh, a menstrual cup and I want to look into uh, reusable pads 
So I definitely want to look into things like that. And I also am going to be looking into getting myself a, a bamboo drinking mug as well. Um, that you can take on, take around with you. And, um, that gets uh, filled up in places, hopefully. So I'm looking into getting, I'm, I'm looking into maybe getting stuff like that. I also want to try and find some uh, reusable makeup pads. So I will bring out a, a haul. So I went shopping recently to Boots, which is not something I normally do. Um, but I basically got myself a collection of stuff, which the video for that will be coming out. But the one thing I'm really annoyed about is I got these um, cotton wool pads, which are makeup pads, and I use them for like lotions and potions and what have you. And I really don't like the fact that they didn't have uh, recyclable ones or reusable ones. Um, I really don't know where you'd find them. So if anybody knows where I can get all this like reusable stuff, whether it be menstrual stuff, um, pads, everything, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I will definitely need to have a, definitely have to look online, but you know we'll we'll get there. You know it's it's baby steps at the end of the day. We're not going to change the world in one day. See, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, so all it'll all take time. But at least I'm t I'm making these conscious efforts to try and be smarter with my shopping and whatever I buy and stuff. So yeah. And the last thing was enjoy life. I am enjoying life. I really am enjoying life. I am actually a lot happier. Um, I've learnt that I can cope being on my own. I am enjoying my own company. Uh, I am not annoying my friends, which I bet they are loving at the fact that I'm not going phone, phone, phone every single week, every single day. Oh my god, at the beginning of lockdown, I kind of like went into a bubble a little bit. I was like, I need to talk to my friends because I just can't cope. And it's kind of mellowed as time's gone on. I've kind of like not bothered and I've just been enjoying my own company. And you know, me and myself and I, we're grand. We're grand. We're not been having negative conversations. I'm watching myself. I'm really not. <laughs> no, but I was like, um, I've not been like negative to myself. The most I need to try and combat now is myself. That's my feared self, my fearful self. Where it's saying you're not gonna get anywhere with this, that, and the other. Those are the only things I need to kind of overcome. A lot of my time I've been staring into space, which ain't good. Uh, but yes, I've been doing a lot better and I've been enjoying life and I enjoy being in nature so I really need to go on, don't go on walks. Why do I do this to myself? I don't fucking know. But yeah, that's just a little recap of... <laughs> so that's a little recap of my girls resolutions I had at the beginning of the year. Some of them are still on track, I feel like I'm doing a bit better in some areas. Some areas I really need to work on still. But I want to know from you guys, let me know down below if you have been able to stay on track with your girls, um, if you've been able to eventually do those dreams you've always had, like play the guitar, write a book, whatever it is. Has lockdown, been able to, has lockdown helped you to be able to do that? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, also let me know if you haven't been staying on track with your girls, because the end of the day, this year has been weird. So weird. Um, but yeah, let me know all your stories down below because I do respond to comments, I do love your comments um, and I love talking to you guys because you are my little family, you're my community and I love talking to you guys so please do let me know down below and I will, you know, give it this video some love, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell as well if you want to be notified of when I will upload and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye guys.